what is science fiction and what is science fact? Here at IBM, we are bridging that gap on a daily basis. In five years, you will be able to power your house with the energy you create yourself. How, you might ask? Anything that moves has the potential to create energy. Your running shoes, your bicycle riding, and even the water flowing through your pipes. Advances in renewable energy technology will allow individuals to collect this created energy and use it to help power our homes, workplaces, and cities. Imagine attaching uncharged batteries to the spokes on your wheels. As your wheels turn, you'll be able to get to where you're going and know that the energy you created could be used to turn the light on in your house. Created energy comes in all shapes and forms and from anything around us. IBM scientists in Ireland are already looking at ways to understand and minimize the environmental impact of converting ocean wave energy into electricity. You probably used the password to log on to your computer today. This is my password. In the future, you will never need a password again. Your biological makeup is the key to your individual identity, and soon it will become the key to safeguarding it. Biometric data such as retinal scans and voice files will be composited through software to build your DNA unique online password. Look at all our wasted brain power and wasted time trying to remember multiple passwords for various logins. Instead, you'll be able to walk up to an ATM machine to withdraw money by speaking your name or looking into the camera. As always, you'll be able to opt in or out of whatever information you choose to provide. Mind reading is no longer science fiction. From Houdini to Skywalker, mind reading has merely been wishful thinking for science fiction fans for decades, but their wish may soon come true. Within five years, we'll begin to see early applications of this technology. Beyond PC games, doctors could use the technology to test brain patterns, possibly even assist in rehabilitation and to help in understanding brain disorders, such as autism. IBM scientists are researching how to link your brain to your devices, such as a computer or a smartphone, so you just need to think about calling someone and it happens. And perhaps many years in the future, if you want to type something, no need to say a word or hit a single key, echoing the famous IBM motto, Just think. The digital divide will cease to exist in our global society Wealth of economies are decided by the level of access to information. And in five years, the gap between information haves and have-nots will cease to exist due to the advent of mobile technology. There are seven billion people inhabiting the world today, and in five years, 80% of the current global population would each have a mobile device. It's cheaper to have a cell phone than open a bank account or buy a laptop. And because of this, communities are able to achieve much more than they had before. Members of a village could check weather reports for when to fertilize crops or know when doctors were coming into town instead of having to wait at the crossroads. Imagine, growing communities will be able to use mobile technology to better serve people with new solutions and business models such as mobile commerce and remote health care. Junk mail will become priority mail. Think about how often we are flooded with information considered to be irrelevant or unwanted. It doesn't have to be that way anymore. In five years, spam emails will become personal notes as systems will be able to filter and find only the data that's important and relevant to you, and bringing you the information without you having to ask for it. Imagine your phone knowing that your favorite band is coming to town and to put tickets on hold for you to purchase. Or that a snowstorm is about to affect your travel plans and you should reroute your plane tickets. News, sports, politics. 
giving power to your mobile phone to make purchases on your behalf. You'll trust the technology will know what you want, so you can decide what to do with it. So, there's our five in five. How we will adapt these technologies to our daily lives is part of the exciting research IBM and our collaborators are undertaking.